Fluticasone – Salmeterol is combination medication containing fluticasone propionate and salmeterol xenophoate. It is used in the management of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Patent protection in the U.S. expired in 2010, and European patent protection expired in 2013. However, the availability of a generic form of Advair in the United States may be significantly delayed because the Food and Drug Administration has not determined a standard for the bioequivalence of inhaled steroids in multi-dose inhalers or dry powder inhalers. Medical uses Fluticasone, a corticosteroid, is the anti-inflammatory component of the combination which decreases inflammation in the lungs which can lead to better breathing. Salmeterol, a long-acting beta-adrenoceptor agonist LABA, treats constriction of the airways. Both combined are meant to be used as maintenance therapy and not as a rescue therapy for sudden symptoms. Together, they help prevent symptoms of coughing, wheezing and shortness of breath. Side effects The common and minor side effects of this combination are those of its individual drugs. For instance, the use of inhaled corticosteroids is associated with oral candidiasis, commonly known as yeast infection, or thrush. It is recommended to rinse and gargle with water after inhaling the medication. This decreases the risk of developing a candidiasis infection. Whilst the use of inhaled steroids and long-acting beta-adrenoceptor agonists LABA, are recommended in asthma guidelines for the resulting improved symptom control, concerns have been raised that salmeterol may increase the small risks of asthma deaths and this additional risk is not reduced with the additional use of inhaled steroids. Other side effects from this drug combination may include increased blood pressure, change in heart rate, an irregular heartbeat, increased risk of osteoporosis, cataracts, and glaucoma. With available studies, the safety of inhaled fluticasone propionate cannot be questioned for its effect on growth of asthmatic children. A systematic review published in year 2013 could not derive any significant adverse effect on HPA function, growth and bone mineral density in asthmatic children when inhaled fluticasone is used for long duration and followed for up to three months. Generic equivalence Although Advair lost U.S. patent protection in 2010, no generic equivalent is imminent in the U.S. On November 8, 2010, Teva Pharmaceutical Industries said the regulatory hurdles were too high for a U.S. generic. Teva said they would work on a branded competitor that should be ready by 2014 and might receive U.S. approval by 2016. Civil Settlements in 2012, Advair was part of a larger civil settlement agreement between GlaxoSmithKline GSK, and the United States, in which GSK agreed to pay $1.043 billion. The United States said that GSK promoted off label uses of Advair and paid kickbacks to healthcare professionals to sell this drug, among others. See also Fluticasone Fluticasone furoate Fluticasone furoate, Volanterol References <laughs>